Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what I have for you here in this particular video is this lovely math problem right here. Uh, let me go ahead and read the problem to you. It says five is to 40 as X is to 20. And we're trying to find out what is the value of X. So I don't wanna give you too many hints or clues because I wanna give you a full opportunity for you to solve this problem all on your own. And feel free to use a calculator if that's what you need to figure this out. But uh, if you can solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer here. So again, here is the problem. 5 is to 40 as x, and x, of course, is some number. So as x is to 20, what is x equal to? Well, x is equal to five halves okay so that is the correct answer and of course you can take that five divided by two so the decimal equivalent would be 2.5 okay so how'd you do well hopefully got this right if that's the case let's go ahead and give you a nice big old happy face with an a plus a 100 percent and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you understand ratios and proportions because that's what we're talking about here okay this is a ratio and proportion problem and ratios uh and there's another thing let me just kind of rate these uh, right here so you got ratios there's uh, something else called a rate okay so when you study ratios and proportions you also study uh, something called rates and then of course uh we are talking about proportions so these are uh, math terms and words that are very, very common. And all of you uh, need to be familiar with this. And I'm going to kind of clarify exactly what a ratio is and a proportion is. And I'll talk a little bit about rates as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution here. So 5 is to 40 as X is to 20. That is the problem. Again, the topic we are discussing here is ratio and proportions. So if I asked you in your own word, our own uh, words, excuse me, uh, what is a ratio? Like define it, right? How would you define a ratio or a proportion? These are pretty common words, right? We'll say like, oh, something has the same ratio or uh, these two things are in proportion. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to talk about that here uh, in just one second. But the first thing we need to recognize is that when we have a statement like 5 is to 40, when you see the word two, okay, we are talking about a ratio. So five is to 40 as X is 220. And before we go any further here, let me go ahead and talk about real quickly what a ratio is real fast and what a rate is. And I'll talk about what a proportion is just to kind of frame the rest of the solution so you understand. Okay, so a ratio is basically a fraction okay that's all it is so here 5 is to 40 we can think of uh, the fraction 5 over 40 where the fraction bar in and of itself is the word 2 okay so 5 is to 40 so again a ratio is nothing more than a fraction and when you see the word 2 you want to be thinking about a ratio now what distinguishes a ratio from uh, kind of its close cousin, and that is a rate. Okay, so let's uh, talk about a rate right now. What if I have this uh, 60 miles per one hour? Okay, so here I wrote a fraction. A rate is also a fraction. Okay, the difference between a rate and a ratio is the units of measure, units of measure. So in a rate, okay, the units of measure are completely different. So we're comparing two different units of measure that have uh, nothing to do with one another. So here's uh, like a car, for example, would go say 60 miles in one hour. Okay, so we're, we're comparing miles to hour and the fraction bar is the word per. Okay, so anytime you're using the word uh, per, like miles per hour, that is a, uh, a rate, okay? I don't know if I said ratio, but this is a rate, okay? So where the units of measure are different, and in a ratio, the units of measure are the same, 
Okay, so for example, uh, if you're talking about like a student teacher ratio, all right, I don't know if you never uh, heard that term, let's say here's a classroom, here's a bunch of students, let's say we have 20 students and one teacher, we would have a 20 to 1 or 1 to 20 student to teacher ratio. Okay, again, I'm using the word ratio. So one teacher for 20 students. Now, some of you out there might be saying, hey, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, aren't these two different units of measure? No, 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 no. A teacher is a human being and a student is a human being, despite what you think a teacher is actually a person as well. So we are counting the same concept, all right? So that is kind of the main idea with ratios versus a rate. A rate is completely different concepts like miles. This is distance and hour is time, okay? All right, so that is what ratios and rates are. They are fractions and they're distinguished from one another uh, based upon the units of measure okay, that you are comparing. So what is a proportion? Well, let me go ahead and just uh, tell you this real quick. So a proportion is nothing more than two equal rates, ratios, or fractions. So let's take a look at the fraction one half. Let's just think of another fraction that's equal to one half. How about, let's say three over six. All right, so here we have two equal fractions and because rates and ratios are also fractions, we can define a proportion as two equal rates, two equal ratios, or just two equal fractions. And the main idea here, right, so one half is equivalent to say three six and a ton of other fractions as well, is that the cross product is equal when you have a proportion, i.e. when I multiply across here one times six, that's the same thing as two times three, all right? So the cross product is equal, so six is equal to six. All right, so that is a quick crash course on ratios, rates, and proportions, all right? So you're already an expert right now. So let's talk about how to actually solve this particular problem. So again, um, we are dealing, we have the word two here, so we are dealing specifically with ratios, not rates, but we are going to set up a proportion to solve this problem. All right, so let's get into this now. So five is to 40, that's a ratio, and I can express that this way, five is to 40, again, where that fraction bar is the word two. And over here, x is to 20, I can write that as the ratio x is to 20 or x over 20. Okay, so I'm expressing this phrase right here as a uh, ratio or a fraction, and this phrase I'm expressing as a uh, fraction as well, five over 40. And this word here as, five is to 40 as x is to 20 is uh, an equal sign. We can think of this, this um, ratio being equal to this ratio. So we have two equal ratios, i.e. a proportion. So that's what we're gonna do to solve this problem. All right, so five is to 40 is x is to 20. Let's go ahead and set this up into a proportion. So five is to 40 as x is to 20. And of course, now we can use the cross product to solve this proportion. That's what you want to do. And we kind of use a different color here. So anytime you have a proportion, you just want to go ahead and just cross product. There's some other properties um, about proportions as well. But if you remember the cross product, you will be good to go. So x times 40 is 40x. 5 times 20 is, of course, 100. So 40x is equal to 100. So to solve for x, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 40, and you're going to get x is equal to 100 over 40. Let me kind of give myself some room here. So if you had this as your final answer, that is good. Matter of fact, I will definitely give you a nice little happy face and maybe an A minus because you never want to leave your fractions unreduced. Okay, it's not like an optional thing. Like, yeah, I'm just too, you know, I'm just too busy to reduce my fraction. I really don't want to do this extra work. No, no, no. Your teacher wants to see the fully simplified version. So here we can easily reduce 100 over 40. Those zeros cross cancel, so it leaves you with the fraction 10 over 4. And of course, we can finally reduce that down to the fraction 5 halves. Okay, so rates, ratios, proportions, uh, unit ratios, uh, this, these are huge, important topics in mathematics, especially at the um, pre-algebra level and beyond. So if you need additional help with this, I do have a lot more videos in my on my um, YouTube channel 
with rates, ratios, and proportions, but I'm going to highly suggest you check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. It's how you get my best work, all my kind of formal instruction, plus all my solved problems. So you understand, uh, you know, how to solve the variety of problems that you're going to be tested upon when it comes to rates, ratios, and proportions. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.